Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, I have a video for you, and it is to showcase the uh, godliness that is the axe mechanic that uh, has recently come into power. Uh, all of this gear is so retardedly expensive uh, for a class that nobody plays. But, uh, I don't know, I thought uh, it would be fun to, to flex a little bit, because uh, I have a lot of zenny from farming genetic that I don't use, so... Uh, to me, like, investing in more genetic gear is just really boring, because I don't really need the damage, uh, and I'd rather, like, have something else. Um, lots of gear keeps coming out, and it never is going to stop, but our content is at a standstill, so there's really no reason for my genetics to get any stronger than they already are. Uh, so I went ahead and I dumped a whole bunch of Zenny into mechanics, since nobody plays them, uh, and the reason I thought... I would do that is because the plus 10, or not because the plus 10 work cap came out, because the work cap came out. Uh, it's a fucking insane, insane headgear. I would say it is the best OCP item to ever come out that caters to a single specific class. Uh, so what it does is it gives you 100% defense bypassing uh, just inherently for being plus 10 against all monsters. So I am piercing 100% defense. So basically we got Samurai Spectre card. Check. Uh, then we have plus 100 attack for um, for having or for having some skill. I forget which one. Level 5. Uh, so that is a 100 attack there. That's I think there's a general Dehan card or something like that. That gives you 100 attack. So that's another MVP card in the bucket. Uh, it also gives you 50% damage to bosses. <laughs> there's nothing that really gives that, but that's basically two AK cards in your headgear. Two, yeah, two, two. Two AK cards in your headgear for free. And uh, what else does it do? It also increases Axe Tornado damage by 100%. So that's basically like having... A true Howard card and a half, uh, <laughs> just in your head here. Uh, so all of that compounds into just this most insane nuts headgear, like that you could ever use. Uh, so that's what ma made me make this character. Um, aside from that, I'm missing a Tengu scroll to make the Tengu combo because trading in this game is such a bitch. You have to like sit around and hope that somebody shows up, or you have to like check the forums all the time or you have to post on facebook and then the facebook market is all rm tiers because nobody cares uh and it's just like really annoying to get a hold of and i don't really feel like getting it um uh, so i don't know when i'm going to finish this tengu set but um you can see i'm just using an eda and my malicious shadow armor set to keep my hp up no problem there i don't need the hp leech from the tengu scroll at all it would just be nice for the damage since I do have 120 strength, it would give me the maximum benefit. The uh, reason I went for it is because it would be it would double dip for arm cannon, being a being that I have 120 strength and I do range damage based on strength, and arm cannon is a ranged attack. It gets the most benefit from Tengu Scroll. Um, but I don't think it's actually optimal for Mado. I think if you're going to go Mado, you want to go 120 int, 120 dex, maybe like 70 strength, and then maybe like 100 vit or more. Uh, reason being is you need the 120 dex to get rid of your cast time for arm cannon, and you can get that with the temp dex boots. And then you also want 120 int so that you can do Seraphim uh, Coronet, give you 250 attack, which is pretty bonkers. And then for your lower headgear, you can use whatever the fuck you want. Uh... So, uh, this was going to be a hybrid build, but I don't think I'll use it for Mado. Um, I tested out Mado. I did the Charleston instance a bunch, and I got a couple of Rockstep cards. I got super lucky. I didn't do it nearly enough to get the cards that I found. But uh, I also got a bunch of Tornado Axes and Pile Bunkers and Robo Arms and shit like that. So, Charleston instance is really good if you want to make a mechanic. Um, but yeah, the Rockstep cards, I was doing the double Rockstep. Uh, arm cannon and i was doing about 80 90k damage but i had the cast time since i didn't have 120 decks yet and so sp the spam ability is slower than the axe tornado unless you have instant cast and like low delay uh or low cooldown 
So ultimately, I think Axe is way better to level with. I think Mado might be better for like Wo. I mean, I know Mado is better for Wo, but it's definitely not like vastly superior for PVM. Uh, it might be for certain things like Bio 4 or Bio 5. But other than that, I think Axe is going to be better. Um, and then you're still going to want to use the work cap. The other thing that came out is the supplemental chip, which is more Mado specific. But it also gives a crap load of attack. So actually, I could ditch an Arcan's necklace and use a supplemental chip. It'll give me 30% cooldown reduction, plus I think another 100 attack. Uh, and that kind of compensates for the Axe Tornado percent that I'm losing from Arcan's. Because if you add it all up, I get 100% from the headgear, whatever I'm getting from the first Arcan's. And then I also get 60% from the True Howard card. And uh, I, I think that is a lot of percent stacking and you're kind of getting diminishing returns on that so actually using a supplemental chip for raw attack will only reduce your damage by a little bit but you do get the perk of having lower cooldown um but yeah if you're going mad you're going to want at least one supplemental chip maybe two i don't know if you need to a lot of people are running it but i don't think it's as good as people think in that regard i think one is more than sufficient um but yeah i just wanted to talk about this build i think it's really fun uh i definitely think that Mechanic is in a really good place to be a useful class. Um, you can use a lot of combos, and building them properly is a little bit harder than you would think. Um, but it's actually a kind of a fun challenge. So if you're interested in trying it out, I highly recommend it. I hope you like the video, and I will see you next time.